To be like Jesus, prepare wholesome diet without flesh meats. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Jeremiah 8 and verse 20. All are now being tested and proved. We have been baptized into Christ. And if we will act our part by separating from everything that would drag us down and make us what we ought not to be, Strength to grow into Christ, who is our living head, will be given us, and we shall see the salvation of God. Only when we are intelligent in regard to the principles of healthful living can we be fully aroused to see the evils resulting from improper diet. Those who, after seeing their mistakes, have courage to change their habits will find that the reformatory process requires a struggle and much perseverance, but when correct tastes are once formed, they will realize that the use of the food which they formerly regard as harmless was slowly but surely laying the foundation for dyspepsia and other diseases. Fathers and mothers watch unto prayer, God strictly against intemperance in every form. Teach your children the principle of true health reform. Teach them what things to avoid in order to preserve health. Already the wrath of God has begun to be visited on the children of disobedient. What crimes, what sins, what iniquitous practice are now being revealed on every hand? As a people, we are to exercise great care in guarding our children against depraved associates. Greater efforts should be put forth to educate the people in the principles of health reform. Cooking schools should be established House-to-house -house instruction should be given in the art of cooking wholesome food. Old and young should learn how to cook more simple wherever the truth is presented. The people are to be taught how to prepare food in a simple yet appetizing way. They are to be shown that a nourishing diet can be provided without the use of flesh meats. Much tact and discretion should be employed in preparing nourishing food to take the place of that which has formerly constituted the diet of those who are learning to be health reformers. Faith in God, earnestness of purpose, and a willingness to help one another will be required. A diet lacking in the proper elements of nutrition brings reproach upon the cause of health reform. We are mortal and must supply ourselves with food that will give proper nourishment to the body. To be like Jesus, October 28th. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you all for listening, and please join us once again tomorrow for your daily devotional reading. God bless.